I've had my next guest this morning on the show a couple of times in the past. Now he is the executive director of the Key West Wildlife Center. They provide care to over 1,000 native animals a year. Their primary focus is wild birds, but they also provide care to our favorite friends here in Key West, the chickens. Thomas, thank you so much for well, being here. Thank back you for having morning. me. I have to say a belated thank you for being our guest celebrity bartender at the Bottle Cap fundraiser last uh, year. So okay, no thank problem. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> now, Thomas, give us a quick overview of the Wildlife Center. Okay, well, what we are is a wildlife rescue and rehabilitation facility. Uh, we're located at 1801 White Street in Key West, and we handle uh, all wildlife rescues from mile marker 0 to 15. Our main focus is on wild birds. Uh, we're also covered under the Marathon Turtle Hospital Sea Turtle Permit. So we can go and rescue sea turtles, we just only have the facilities to treat birds. Occasionally we'll get called upon to look at manatees, dolphins, uh, by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. But again, if we were to spot one of those animals, uh, we would get the professionals that deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. We really deal with wild birds, and then we also uh, have another side of the business, which is a chicken rescue, where we uh, provide care to sick, injured, or orphan chickens. We'll actually go and rescue them, uh, then we provide care. And then we get them up to a 3,000-acre um, farm animal rescue ranch up in the Okeechobee area called Pete Marsh Ranch. Mm -hmm. um, now, we don't actually go and catch healthy birds. Um, if citizens or businesses in the Key West area want to get chickens on their property, uh, they can borrow a trap from us, uh, trap the chickens, and then bring them to us. And then we provide care and, again, get them up to the mainland. Okay. What would you say is the biggest misconception about the Wildlife Center? Uh, Basically that we would come and rescue healthy birds, uh, healthy chickens. We don't rescue uh, healthy chickens. All we do is rescue sick, injured, or orphaned. Okay. Now, how's the year been so far for you, Thomas? It's been very good, very busy. We're right in the middle of pelican season right now. So it's, uh, you know, a 24 hour, we run a 24 hour rescue line. So we've been very busy. It's technically our busiest time of the year. We get a lot of turkey vultures, a lot of pelicans. Uh, and we just finished with raptor season. Um, funny thing about what we do, Really, uh, the Key West area, uh, when these birds are migrating, whether it's the hawks or the pelicans, generally it's all first-year babies on their first migration. So these birds tend to get in trouble. People wonder why they'll see pelicans landing on US-1 right, at, right outside the uh, office here. Uh, and that's because these babies are on their first migration. They don't quite know what to do. Uh, they get worn down, uh, they get dehydrated, and then they'll just start acting strangely. They'll land in the road, uh, that kind of thing. So. You know, it's, it's quite a busy period for us. Uh, we had over 20 pelicans uh, under our care as of last week. We were able to release a couple. I think we've got about 15 right now. Wow. Now, I know you are so busy, Thomas, because every time I try and reach you, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're out doing something, right? right? Taking right. care of one of the birds or animals. Right. I, I sort of handle the rescue side, mm -hmm. and then our wonderful animal care director, Peggy, is back at the, uh, at the center providing uh, medical care and rehabilitation services to all these uh, wild birds and chickens as well. Okay, we're showing our viewers this morning some sure. videos. What are they seeing in these videos, Thomas? Uh, well, the first one I believe is our animal care director, Peggy, releasing a magnificent frigate bird that was uh, rescued at Trumbo Point uh, Navy Base in Key West. Uh, this bird is being released. Um, it's a pretty nice uh, footage, it's a short little, we usually only get a few seconds to take these shots, uh, and it's usually me holding the camera and Peggy doing the release, but uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second one would be a, a mass pelican release uh, from last year around this time, uh, during pelican season. We had about probably six pelicans in this group that uh, we released up at Boca Chica uh, Beach, because that's a good spot to release them. Not too many people around, not too much traffic. Okay. Now, if people want to get involved with the Wildlife Center, can they do that? Can they volunteer? Oh, certainly, certainly. I would, uh, you know, hope that they would come down to uh, Key West Wildlife Center again at 1801 White Street, or you can reach us at 305-292-1008. And we would love, there's many different things you could do. Uh, if you like animals and want to work with them, we certainly can uh, get you doing that. But there's so many things. It's about a four and a half acre indigenous park down there, and there's all kinds of things to do. Uh, anything from yard work to helping in the clinic, you know, to uh, watering plants, anything you can imagine, we can we could put you to work. Wonderful. It would be time well spent. Oh, yes. so, so, Thomas, thank you for being back oh, on thank this you. morning. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me today. I hope you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. <laughs>